Major retailer Linens and Things is the latest victim of our failing economy. The New Jersey-based company couldn't find a bidder to keep doors open. Now it will start liquidating everything as early as Thursday. News 13's Mike Paluska is live at Linens and Things in Northeast Albuquerque with more. Well, Michael, New Mexico has three locations. Two are here in Albuquerque. The other one is in Santa Fe. The store did file for bankruptcy in May, and that forced them to close about a third of their stores. Now, Linens and Things has struggled to stay afloat after a housing slowdown and a decline in consumer spending, but the nail in the coffin came with the credit crisis. Possible buyers couldn't get credit to purchase a company, and now 371 stores are set to close by the end of the year. Last December, the company had more than 17,000 employees, and they were operating almost 600 stores. Probably the beginning of a rash of that kind of closings. We're probably going to see a lot more. Um, it's a shame. However, I'm kind of a proponent of, of small businesses and I like to buy locally if I can. And that store in Santa Fe has been in liquidation for about a month and a half now. They said that they might close their doors October 31st or in mid-November. It all depends on how fast they can get their products off of their shelves. Michael? All right. Thanks, Mike. A coalition of liquidators bought the remaining company assets for $475 million. A member of that group says if the markets were not so volatile, the company might have survived Chapter 11 bankruptcy.